Os. Hey everyone, welcome to Karate Family Insider, the Monday motivator and informational news source from Virginia Martial Arts Center. I am your host, Darren Myers, filling in for our program director, Maggie, who is out again uh, for a funeral, unfortunately. Well, this week, we want to wish a happy birthday to Chayton Patrick, Rafael Afonso, Aiden Maggio, and Dwayne Jenkins. Happy birthday, everybody. All right, continuing on with December's lesson of the month about respect. And our quote this week is, it is the way one treats his inferiors more than the way he treats his equals which reveals one's true character. Interesting quote. Everyone deserves respect. Who is someone you really respect because of their talent? Maybe a famous athlete or a famous artist or a famous musician, actor. It's easy to respect people when they're better at something than we are. Something like music or athletics, acting, like I said, um, showing respect can seem harder when it's to people who aren't as good as us at something. For example, have you ever laughed at a new student who made a, a, just a silly mistake? Well, that's not respectful. Remember, you were once new too. And the fact that they are here to become new student and our new generation of students and the fact that they're trying and they're, they're giving it their all deserves a lot of respect. Without them, we wouldn't have a dojo. So remember to respect everyone. Do you think the best martial artists in the world should respect you and me? Take, for instance, I don't know, Jackie Chan. Okay, famous actor, incredible martial artist. Should he respect you and I? I mean, we're just, you know, kind of your average male martial artist. Well, of course he should. Because without us, without us as his fans, he's nothing. He wouldn't be famous. He wouldn't be rich. Do you think that someone is ever too good to show respect? Absolutely not. Okay. I personally would have no respect for someone who didn't show respect to others. What would you think about a talented person, someone who was really famous, but they weren't respectful? Probably wouldn't respect them much either, would you? Okay, so it's those people who are truly up at a higher level, you know, as far as fame or, you know, their, their wealth or whatever, they deserve respect from us, but they also deserve, they also really need to respect others because it's because of others that they are where they are today. So why is it important to show respect to everyone? Well, it shows that we care and it makes the world understand each other. We become a community of people through respect for each other. And we have to show that respect in order to get along just to get along with your friends, get along with people, get along with strangers, get along with folks that we don't know. And we have to have respect for those who are trying to lead us in the right direction. Oh, all right. So now on to the dojo announcements. The Virginia Martial Arts Center holiday event this past Saturday was a huge success. We were slammed. Students came in with their envelopes and got discounts and even free stuff. Plus, one lucky winner opened their envelope and had a $100 gift certificate inside. They were shocked. All right. It was a fun day and lots of friendly faces and holiday spirit. We still have a few tables set out with some of the stocking stuffer items on them. So check them out when you come to the dojo this week and save some money. Unfortunately, Miss Maggie was out of town for a funeral again and missed the holiday event. Uh, this also means that everyone missed out on the best deals of the year on tuition. But fear not, when she gets back, we will extend those savings on to everyone that would like to take advantage of up to a 30% savings on our tuition programs. 
So make an appointment now through Mr. Cole at the front desk to speak with Miss Maggie when she returns this week and save some big bucks. And I just want to put out um, a heartfelt, um, sincere thoughts and prayers to Miss Maggie, uh, whose family has gone through now two funerals within a month. And uh, we, we really, uh, our, our thoughts and prayers to you, Maggie, and to your family, and we wish you the best. All right. This week, promotion review is going to be held on Wednesday and Thursday during your regular classes. So come either day, not both, to test for uh, new tips on your belt or maybe even a new belt rank. So practice up and good luck to everyone. Now, next week is another one of our exciting events at Virginia Martial Arts Center uh, as we present our popular board breaking seminars. Now these special classes will be held during regular class times and you can break two boards for only five bucks. So sign up uh, today at the front desk. Power Kids will break boards during their Wednesday class and it will only be $3 for two boards because they're really tiny boards. They're really tiny kids. <laughs> The 33rd annual Winter Martial Arts Spirit Camp will be held on February 4th through 6th in Nags Head, North Carolina. There are going to be eight master level instructors available to teach you many different aspects of the martial arts that you don't normally get to do in regular classes. So pre-register before January 15th to reserve your spot and save some money. So guys, we have what we're calling a belt in a bag. And what this is, is a belt and a gift certificate in a gift bag for you to give out to a friend or relative that you think would enjoy taking martial arts. Now, there it's good for a month of classes, a free uniform, and they get their belt to test for not the belt that's actually in the bag, but they will have to test for their actual belt like usual. Now, this is normally somewhere around $150, $200 uh, uh, worth of uh, merchandise and, and classes. However, you get to get one of these bags absolutely free to give to a friend or relative. Matter of fact, if you need more than one, you're welcome to it. We are giving these out for free so that you can have a great holiday and give a, a really nice gift to a friend that might last them a lifetime. And all you have to do is give us their name and contact information so that we can contact them after the holidays and set up their first class. So pick up your belt in a bag today at the front desk. All right, guys, that's it for me today. So always remember your dojo ethics that karate begins and ends with respect. We are all responsible for our own behavior and actions will always have consequences. And there is never an excuse for bad manners and we all lead by example. Thanks for tuning in to this week's Karate Family Insider. We will see you in class.